In this video, we're gonna be going over integrating Zoho Desk and Zoho Projects just to streamline the overall customer experience when you're interacting with clients throughout the course of a project completion. So before we jump in, I do wanna ask if you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Leave any questions and comments down below that like button. And if you do end up needing help configuring Zoho for you and your organization, just head right on over to zanata.com click on book a meeting and we'll be talking about how we can help in no time. So a little bit interestingly here, I'm going to start this tutorial video, which of course is mostly about projects and desk. I'm starting it here in CRM from the perspective of a particular account, because this is a big part of where it's all going to start for most users. So here I have my demo account. And what we can see is that they've got a couple different projects that are open and that we're working on for them. And they also have this open ticket over inside of Zoho Desk. And so this is a really common thing that happens, right? Where we have this client account, we're working on a lot of stuff for them, but they're also emailing us or calling us in separately through our support channel. And so a lot of the times what's really useful to do there is kind of connect the dots, right? Where we're working on all this different stuff for a client. And a big challenge that comes up is, well, some of our work is tracked here in Desk. Some of it is tracked in Projects. Right, it's just easy for it to get away from us or end up missing something that we should have completed for them or maybe something that we should have changed about their ongoing project purely because that particular piece of communication came in outside of the normal Zoho Projects workflow. So how would we solve this? Well, the easiest way to start is to install the Zoho Projects integration for Zoho Desk and then use that to essentially convert a ticket into an issue. So I'm going to show you both of those steps here in this little quick video. So inside of Zoho Desk, what we're going to do first is go into setup. We're going to go into our integrations and our kind of marketplace. And here, what we're going to do is open up the Zoho integrations for Zoho Desk. Now, while they, of course, have a ton of different integration options for Desk, um, a lot of these are going to be all of our default Zoho apps. Here, we're going to start with Zoho Projects. So I'm just going to open this up. Right, what this is going to do essentially create tasks and issues, going to show some of that information inside of projects, right? And it kind of just helps with that overall collaboration flow between the two applications. So, down at the bottom left, I'm just going to click integrate. We're going to choose our portal, which I just have this one inside of my demo account. Be certain here if you do have multiple projects portals for any reason that you choose the correct one. Then we're just going to click authorize. And if you'll believe me, it's basically done. I mean, here at this point, what we're going to do is just go down and figure out if there are any particular projects that we don't want to create inside a desk. We can choose if we want to either integrate tasks, issues, or both. Tasks are going to come out of the box, so we're, we're always going to create those. And then last but not least, we're able to actually map some of those fields that we're going to write from a desk ticket into either a project or a task. Now I'll click Save and our integration is essentially set up, right? So there are a couple more options down here at the bottom. You know, do we wanna add comments to issues based on ticket updates? Do we wanna add comments to ticket based on issue updates? Kind of those two lines of communication between the two. Like if a ticket is submitted, I leave a comment. We probably want that to show up in the issue inside of Zoho projects, right? So we kind of get that back and forth. And then lastly, we can have it actually notify the ticket owner when issues get updated or when they get new comments. And so now that we have this enabled, let's actually take it for a spin. So here in our ticket to actually convert it over into Zoho projects, it'll live under the little three dots here in the top right under our more actions. And so here we have two options, right? We can either create a task or we can file an issue. And so the common breakdown between those two is if the customer is emailing through desk and they're asking for something that's like new, right? Like a change, an addition, an improvement, I probably wanna create that as a task. Whereas if this is something where maybe we're in that back half of the project, the user is actually starting to try out the system and kind of do some testing on their side, then maybe I would wanna create it as an issue right and actually go ahead and submit it that way now in our case here i'm first going to create a task i think that's what people are going to do most often i will say like inside of zoho projects they break down into tasks and issues but they are pretty similar records if you don't want to have both type of records running concurrently i would definitely lean towards putting everything in as a task 
The one nice thing about an issue is that it can be created and connected to an ongoing task so that if there is something going on that needs to be notified for a particular open work item, like, hey, we've started testing something, we are seeing some bugs, that's where you'll wanna use an issue instead. But so let's go ahead and create that task. So here, what it's gonna do is we'll be able to choose which project this should go to, right? So in my case, I'm gonna send it to this example project. Um, here again is where you'll wanna make sure that you have good naming conventions and, and a good structure and project so that this is easy to find. Then what we can do is determine what the subject line should be of that task. In my case, I'm just putting it as the subject line of the ticket. This little field here is just linking it to that ticket. We can choose if we want to have a particular due date for this. So maybe we're going to say, hey, this is going to be due by this particular date. It's going to determine who should be the owner for this. It's already linked it up to our contact. It's set our defaults for our status and our priority. So just like that, if I click submit, we should now be able to go over to this example project and see this newly created task. So if we were to jump over here and maybe give this a quick refresh just so that this will show up. Now, what we'll see is that we have this example ticket where we need some help. Um, you'll notice that it's dropped it into this general task list, right? It's gonna basically grab that one at the top and associate it there. Um, now, the beautiful thing here is that now we have this task in both places. So if I were to come in and maybe make some updates to this or maybe even close it out, right? Let's say we're done with this task. Now, when I come back into Zoho Desk and give this a refresh, um, sometimes it just takes a moment or two, our task status should come back and update. Similarly, if we were to leave things like comments or update due dates, anything there, we should see those syncing between our two applications. But now let's say we want to do this in the other flow. Let's say that we want to make this into an issue. Um, to do that, I can go ahead and open up our more actions, click on file an issue, here, there's kind of less information that you need, and you do have two options. You can either create a new issue or you can link it to an existing one. And so linking it to an existing would be you have five people. They've all emailed you about the same thing. And you want to say, hey, I want to link up these five tickets to this one issue so that if I have an update to that issue, it'll actually write to all of those tickets here inside of desk. So I'm just going to give this an example description. We'll go ahead and click submit. And now if we jump over to our project and we go to that issue list, we'll see that this has been taken down as a note right here. And again, because of our integration settings, if we were to come in and leave an example comment on our issue, and I'll leave this here, we do want to see and make sure that that update comes back across and you'll see it actually refresh live there. It says one here now back into our ticket. Right, so we can see, hey, this is a comment that was left from Zoho Projects and is written back into our ticket to say, hey, we're working on this or we've identified the issue, whatever that piece of communication may be, where you'll need to see that on both sides of the aisle. So again here, kind of a nice one. You'll also see over on the left, because this has been created as a ticket, you'll have this little bug tracker tab where you can see some of this information about this particular issue. Now, if this issue was to be solved, let's say we wanna go ahead and mark it as closed. Boom, we fixed our bug, right? We are good to go. You will see on the project side, you've got this link back over to the ticket. And then if we go back to our ticket itself, we'll see that that comment has already come in, giving that update that this has been moved from open to closed. Really at the end of the day, it is that determination of if you think it would be best to create something as a task or create something as an issue, I will say that from a functionality standpoint, there's more back and forth flow of information when you create something as an issue. So definitely maybe a reason that you'll wanna do it that way. Um, you will just wanna make sure that if you are going to do that, that on the project side, people are actually looking at these. You know, There is that risk of a lot of people are gonna come in, they're gonna go to my open tasks and they're gonna work from the top. So you will just wanna make sure that if you are gonna write things over as issues, that people are trained to look at this list as well, right? So make sure that's a part of their day, just so that we're not gonna lose any information just because we didn't create a task.
right? So that'll be one of those determinations that you'll need to make internally at your organization. If you'll believe me, that's actually all that you really need to do to tie together Zoho Desk and Zoho Projects. Again, long story short there, you just go into the marketplace, you're installing the application, and then that's going to add the ability here from our three dot menu to either create tasks, more than one task, or log it as an issue so that these two things are connected and that data can flow back and forth. So with that, I think we're ready to wrap up here for today. As always, thank you so much for watching. If this video is useful for you, please be sure to like and subscribe down below as that really does help us out. Um, if it sparks any questions, feedback, or additional video requests, leave those in the comment section down below that like button as we do try to read and respond to as many of those as we can every single week. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.